Welcome back, Family of Light. This is going to be the Virgos 2022 video. I've already asked my guide to help me to access the Akashic Records so we can give the highest and best information for love. And that could be romantic or otherwise. Money. And the overall, this is the Prophecy Stone. So Hermit has come out in your love area. The Knight of Cups has come out for your money. And the Page of Cups for the overall, or the Page of Pentacles, excuse me. I feel like you've been, you've been trying to come out of the Hermit mode. So this is going to be something that's definitely for the beginning of the year. You know, especially with the pandemic continuing to, to move forward. I feel like you're trying to make yourself come out of that. And with that, there is the Knight of Pentacles. So you either have someone coming to offer something, but they take their time in doing so. With the money card, or the money, you have the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're getting what you need here. I feel like you're a, a newbie in something. Starting something new. And you've, I think you've been laying the groundwork and you're kind of waiting for things to come to fruition. So it could be, you know, a new job here. With the page of pentacles comes the three of pentacles. So you're definitely working towards something and you're wanting to create that solid grounded foundation. Now guides, what else would you like to say here? They want you to take your time in building a solid foundation and they want you to have that beginner's mind here with the knight. Now moving forward with the love. Nice. You've got the three of cups here. Now guys, tell me more about that from the Akasha. More friends are coming into your life and you're having a friend return is what I'm hearing. You know, and that's also about getting out again. You know, if you've been in the hermit mode, not really being out there with others, now is the time. It's like a reemergence with the money. You have the world card. You're definitely, you know, wanting this new beginning here. Now with the seven of swords here, they're cautioning you in the overall is making sure that you're kind of keeping track of what is going on in your world. Who's where and why? Now, why is that? Someone in your sphere doesn't have um, the best of intentions. Is it more work or personal? For the majority of you is going to be um, personal. For some, it's work. Oh, okay, because the reason why they're hesitating is you might consider this person a friend. Okay, so be very aware of that. I'm gonna move these over so you can see them. Now, if you're liking this, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. What else do we need to know here for the love? Okay, they're repeating a message here from, um, I think it was the Pisces. I'm not for sure though because they had the Ace of Swords here. You're gonna be very clear with friends about your intentions. And they want you to make sure that your friends don't um, walk over you. Because I think that was a part of, you know, granted the, um, the pandemic had something to do with going within, but also it was kind of like um, a respite from people who might be a little too harsh for you. So, you know, with this 
seven of swords here it's kind of making sense where you know you're gonna be letting some friends back in but be very cognizant of who you let back in and how deeply you let them back in now guys give me more information from the akasha for virgo 2022 in money yeah beginner's mind looking towards the future you really created something good here you're about to and they want you to make sure that you're using your passion and your love for something to propel you forward okay with this devil card here guys give me more information Yeah, there's some sort of, you know, and this is a cautionary tale here for you. There's some sort of um, backstabbing situation that you're going to encounter this year. Someone who was a friend is not what they seem. Now, how, let's get more um, clarity here. There's the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment card. Yeah, I think at the beginning of the year, you're going to feel like, oh, you know, things are going good. You know, I've got my friends back. I'm making new friends. This is the weirdest thing, but this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> There's going to be someone who twirls their hair, whether male or female, They'll, they'll, they'll take a lock of their hair or they're constantly fiddling with their hair. But there's something about them twirling their hair. Because, you know, in my mind, it was kind of like, well, you're going, well, who, how am I going to tell who it is? You can tell through energy, right? But also there's some sort of telltale with um, them playing with their hair. I know that sounds strange, but... I feel like mid mid um, year you're going to be getting some communication about a possible project. Okay, so this is all kind of intertwined. Your friend or your friends might be asking you to start an endeavor, maybe even a side hustle, but be very cautious. Now, give me more information about the overall. Yeah, there's going to be a choice that you're going to need to make. Is this more in love or friendship or all of the above? Yeah. For those of you who are single, mid-month, I mean mid-year, I'm getting June. There's going to be some sort of love, um, interesting what I heard, love triangle. A love situation. And it could be someone coming back from the past is what I'm hearing. And you might already have someone else. In the love, there's going into calmer waters, getting away from the woes. So you're going to be able to, um, with this kind of knowledge, know that someone is either going to put you in a third party or these friends are going to, someone's not going to be what they seem. And they're going to offer something or like, hey, we could start something. So just be very clear about, you know, how you want to stay away from things that don't serve you. What else can they do to know about their money? Nice. So you're going to be feeling pretty prosperous in your money. Be care be warned of this um, talk of a side hustle if if it's coming from someone else. Like wanting you to collaborate with them. It's almost like they'll what I'm hearing is they'll kind of take your your ideas and claim it is as their own. Yeah, with the six of swords and this 
because yours is very mixed. A lot of other signs, they're very separate, but your the energies here are very mixed where you, you know, you might have a friend who somehow gets involved with a lover of yours and then work, it could be, you know, so give me more information about this 10 of cups here in the money department. You've got this. What I'm hearing is that you're going to be able to move forward and be unfazed by the drama that is being presented to you. And then here's the judgment card that I just put down. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's right here. Um, yeah, you're going to be able to discern that someone doesn't have your highest and best. And you're going to be able to, you know, move through it by... You know, feeling your emotions about it, becoming cold and distant from that person, and then starting again as the fool. Not like completely starting again, but I'm definitely getting a lot of overlap. Now give me more information about love. Yeah, you're going to be, your money and your love is definitely intertwined this year. For sure. Because here's the Queen of Wands. You're going to be able to stay cool, calm, and collected. Especially with the foresight of knowing that someone's going to try to do something that isn't um, in your highest and best. But here's the, the Nine of Cups here. The wish fulfillment card. So make your affirmations now. Make your goals now. Because whatever this person is presenting is actually going to be good money-wise. Just do, do not um, be fooled. Okay? I feel like someone's going to be coming into your life, especially with this lover's card. They might be younger than you. And it's going to put you in a um, conundrum as what to do because of this possible third party situation. So just be really cognizant of, you know, it's almost like from what I'm gathering here, Virgos, is that you're going to be tested this year as far as like, did you learn lessons from last time? Are you going to allow someone to take advantage of you again? Are you going to be that person who is, um, you know, the person to go along with someone just to make things, to smooth things over, keep things easy? Now, what else would you like to say, guys, from the Akasha? Know that you are not alone. None of these tests or challenges are going to be too much for you to handle. It's weird. They're showing me something about like maybe it's finger tapping or tapping that process, but they're showing me you doing this, some sort of tapping. I don't know. That's what, just what I'm getting. Now, what's the purpose of that? For some of you who are called to tapping, it will help you to move more smoothly through this situation or the situations that you will find yourself in. Now, once again, if this is resonating, well, hopefully it's resonating with you, but of course it's for the future for 2022. So make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. In the love department, it is the scarab beetle spirit. Work, or magic works through you. Love it. Yeah, and especially with foresight. You know, knowing that if you let some friends back in or meet new friends, especially work friends, they might even put you in a third party situation and try to convince you to start a business. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Nice. And the overall. Time to heal. 
snake spirit. Yeah, whatever you have been working on and being a hermit, this is kind of like, you know, from this year and then going into 2022, it's time to be tested on those things and move forward and heal them. So kind of just be aware that you got this, that you do have an abundance of finances coming in, that magic works through you, no matter if someone else is trying to manipulate you in love or money. So you got this. And then this, this one makes total sense to me, especially, you know, how it's, they're actually talking about the end of this 2021 going into 2022. Life is speeding up. So enjoy the ride because once again, you got this. You are not alone. They are here to support you. And this is going to be a year of, you know, did you learn that lesson? Do you want to repeat it? <laughs> So I hope that this was helpful, Virgos. Please make sure to give this a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye-bye for now.